Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of somebody who is um, coming towards the end of a very draining journey. Um, this um, relationship or this situation may be coming a very... Um, a very burdensome responsibility um, there is even almost a sense here of one-sidedness in this connection somebody is having to really overcompensate and taking on more um, than their share of the load and um, with this uh, it, this 10 energy this is an energy of reaching the end it's like um, this person is about to drop this load um, there is almost a sense that things are coming to a close here of some sort of hardship or difficulty so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this cancer okay so the first card we have is the seven of cups and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy next we have the empress venus energy libra taurus energy and finally we have the hermit cancer virgo energy sorry so you could be dealing with a virgo Okay, so there is an energy here of somebody um, wanting to retreat, focus on themselves, be in solitude and um, really um, let go of something that was very draining. I do see somebody who's trying to focus more on, you know, themselves and their well-being. It's almost like a need to recharge with that um, hermit coming after the um, Ten of Wands. Um, this is also with the Empress showing up here. This is an energy of recognizing your worth and um you know holding yourself in high regard you know and understanding that you deserve so much more um you deserve more than having to overcompensate or be the person who is taking on so much of a load um so i do see um you know someone here is recognizing their worth or their power and um withdrawing from a situation that was quite burdensome and draining um so i do see here it's almost like with the seven of cups this person who you were dealing with is somebody who may have been confused um this person may have been distracted um whatever it is it was keeping them from being present and as a result you may have felt like you had to really shoulder the their brand so or their their load in the um connection and it may have felt very um heavy very draining so i do see it's like you're dropping that load and you're going into this hermit mode and you are also um recognizing your power recognizing who you are stepping into this empress energy um taking time away is helping you realize that and it's like you're practicing some self-care um this person is seeing you in that light they're seeing you as somebody who is um loving themselves um you know turning away from them and focusing on self and giving themselves that nurturing and self-love and self-care so this person is definitely feeling like that's what you're doing they feel like you're withdrawing from them um, this person does recognize that they may have been so um, distracted or confused something about their emotions was really overwhelming them that they, they were not aware that um, you know there was this heavy load on you um, this is somebody who is almost like they were oblivious or um, they, they were letting you carry the load here and um, they were very their mind was somewhere else so let's clarify these cards um, cancel
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. And this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So I do see this as this person is recognizing that you're pulling away. And there's a desire on their part to make make things right with you they they are wanting to be romantic towards you i do see this person is going to use romantic gestures or um you know charming um romantic talk you know as a way to get through to you um they do see you as this empress they do see you as um somebody who is very beautiful in their eyes i do see they have a lot of emotions for you they they, they do have love for you and um this person it's almost like they they want to give you this cup. This person doesn't want to focus on whatever what was distracting them or keeping their attention. They are now focusing on you. They are trying to win you over to, to romance you with this energy. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this cancer. Okay, so the first card we have is the Three of Swords in the reverse. And this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Next, we have the Six of Swords, Air Energy again. And finally, we have the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this person is definitely coming towards you with the Six of Swords Energy. Um, they, they're trying to avoid heartbreak. So they are moving towards you. They do want peace with you. Um, they want to get on good terms with you. They want to make things up to you. Um, I'm seeing this person is going to be generous towards you. They're, this is them spoiling you, um, showering you with affection, and even... Um, it, this could be a gift or something tangible that they are offering you. Um, this could be an apology. I'm seeing something quite solid coming from them to you. This person really wants to give to you. It's like they want to make up for um, not having pulled their weight today with the Ten of Wands. Um, they are seeing you as the Empress and that is an energy of them seeing you as someone that they want to take care of, someone who they want to spoil, someone who they want to treat very nicely. This person may also see you as someone who they want to create with, um, birth something with. So this is someone who does know your value. They've always known your value. They've always seen it. But I do see that there may have been something that was keeping their attention or something they were confused about that was causing them to not not show up in the best way in the connection or to not be present and um, they feel you pulling away and they're trying to avoid some sort of a heartbreak so this person is going to be proactive towards you I do see them coming through with heartfelt um, emotions that they are giving towards you and um, wanting to to salvage things wanting to work on the connection and to achieve some sort of peace or um, trust with you some sort of understanding with you and definitely i do see them wanting to balance things out with you um they want to make up for um whatever was off balance there with that ten of wands okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you um cancer So the card says, don't let your past hold you back, South Node. Okay, so this person is really wanting that you can look at them from a first perspective. I do see them wanting to even things out to be fair with you. Um, but there is a sense that um, in order to do this, that would require you to let go of the past, um, the old version that you had of them. They are hopeful that you would be open to hearing them out. Um, at this moment, this person may be viewing you as shutting them out, not really wanting anything to do with them, or that you're more focused on yourself right now and not interested in them, like you have your back turned towards them. And um, they are hoping that they can really change um, the situation around. Um, this person is hopeful that you guys can move away from um, the hardship of the past and move towards a more peaceful state, a, a calmer place where you guys can actually um, create something together because this person really sees you as a valuable asset to them. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Cancer. So the card says religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. 
Okay, so I do see with the hermit there, there is a sense that you may be discovering things, learning some things that is actually helping empower you. There's some, some sort of spiritual revelation happening here with the hermit energy and allowing you to step into this empress energy is what I'm seeing. Um, it's like you're moving away from um, this, this view of uh, being very much in this masculine energy where you are having to overcompensate, having to be the one putting in all the work and you're stepping more so into this uh, more feminine energy which is a uh, receiving energy a receptive energy of attracting and um, it's like there is some sort of a shift and um, you may be uncovering this through some sort of um, meditation or some spiritual practice with this hermit this is really going within and doing a lot of self-discovery or introspection here so I do see there is a shift for you um, it's like you're stepping more into the divine feminine energy okay so there's some Something quite spiritual with this hermit energy as well okay so I'm going to pull out another card for you cancer okay so the card says dignity a wise man has dignity without pride. A fool has pride without dignity. Okay, so I do see you are taking back your power. Your step, you're being more. You're, you're, it's like you're, you're really embracing your dignity. You're having this dignity to walk away, to drop some sort of burden, and to know your worth and step into this empress energy. This is how this person is seeing you that you have that dignity and um, you know that you you have a lot of self respect. And it is actually also attracting this person to you. I do see them very drawn towards you. They, they're seeing your worth. This is someone who has always seen your worth. I, I'm seeing that they're they're now. It's like they they're not. Um, they're not taking you for granted anymore. So as you embrace this dignity and um, focus more on self and going within, it's really causing this person to, um, you know, want to come towards you. It's like you're attracting them from this empress energy. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.